Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to root your Google Nexus 5 on the latest and the greatest 5.0 Lollipop. Now this is the official Lollipop software you can see uh, LRX210, that's the bill number, this is the official stock 5.0 Lollipop and I'm going to show you how to root and install custom recovery at the same time without doing some serious shit so uh, first of all just visit the link in the description and download the software Nexus Root Toolkit version 1.9.8 and when you download it just install it and uh, make sure you have enabled the USB debugging option on your Nexus 5 go into the settings about phone and you can see no developer options you can see I've enabled the USB debugging option. So from there, you have to enable the USB debugging. Then uh, uh, connect your Nexus 5 while opening. Uh, you know when you have opened up this uh, program, when you connect it, uh, connect your phone, uh, it will show you some uh, options. You need to select Nexus 5. Its uh, model number will be given. You can see these options. You will, uh, you will select this option. Then also it will give you that what software you are running. Just select this one if you are running this one, or if you are running KitKat or whatever. Just like, and it will, you know, uh, you see your software, then download some uh, root and uh, recovery files from the net, and then you can see you'll have this cool little button here, root, and I'm going to do it, root plus flash custom recovery, and as you can see, okay, and make sure you have unlocked your bootloader, device connected, rebooting your device into bootloader mode, now you can see there will be some numbers going up. Uh, then this will be rooting my device, checking fast boost status, and of course battery life is getting down. I hope I hope my device get rooted before my laptop turns off. But you can see. So uh, this will going to be a root plus recovery tutorial. Uh, TWRP recovery, which is going to be the latest version for the Lollipop uh, supported at the moment. Not sure about the CWM, but you can see devices booting up. And um, please don't turn off. Let's try to have the power saving mode. No, I'm pretty sure. Device we're going to get through it. Okay. Okay, let's go further, unlock the device, all is allow, let's see if we have the Super SU app or not, nope, not at the moment, but device detected. Let's see if something happens pushing root files to your device. Yep, now it's going to root my device. Pushing root files. So the link will be uh, in the description. You can download the software and be sure to download uh, the latest version so that you know which supports the Lollipop. And uh, it doesn't matter if you have the previous version, your, uh, when you open up the software, it will prompt and it will say that uh, please update your uh, software here and then download the 1.9.8 uh, latest version then you will have these goodies flashing root kernel oops plugin or find the source please don't please don't please don't turn off please don't turn off power saving mode is enabled flashing custom recovery booting TWRP temporarily Please don't turn off. Okay. 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 You can see TWRP recovery has been installed. And uh, I think the root zip file also flashed automatically. My laptop is still on though. But I'm really worried because it can turn off at any moment. Then this will be a failure.
Android, come on, come on, come on. Android is upgrading. Okay, starting apps. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, we're back. Let's see if we have the Super SU installed. Oh yeah, it's rooted. Oh, that's how you root your device. And you can see now it's showing me that this process to finish the process just click OK. OK. And uh, yes, people, my device is rooted. Yes, it's rooted. You can see I have this Super SU app installed. And uh, let's try to power off and then try to boot up into the uh, recovery mode, shall we? So let's kind of disconnect this from the laptop. And as you can see, my laptop is now off. So that was pretty close. That was pretty close, but let's try to boot up into the bootloader menu by holding on the power and the volume down button at the same time. So let's boot down into the recovery mode. Let's see if we have TWRP recovery installed or not. Yes. Okay. Yup, this is the recovery. And this is the latest version 2.8.1.0. You can see. So, extremely easy tutorial. And make sure when you try to install this stuff here make sure your laptop has enough battery not like mine that was closed but if you have any questions any problems or any stuff that you want to ask just comment down below and be sure to like this video and do subscribe for more videos to come in the near future so I'll see you next video peace out